Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Hitman. If you enjoyed this video, please start a notorious trafficking cartel called the Modest Pelicanos and become so infamous that Netflix eventually makes a mini series on you as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Today's mission takes us to the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean to an isolated island where a bunch of billionaires are hosting a function for a top secret organization known as the Ark Society. We'll be disguised as one of the guests and should fit right in. Well, besides the blatant barcode on our head, but apart from that, we're completely incognito. We will also take in with us a rather normal arsenal of gadgets. You know, a lockpick, a silenced pistol, and of course, every assassin's go-to weapon, a medieval mace. Another agent will hide the mace on the premises for us, ready to collect. Otherwise, it would blow our cover, because you know, it's a mace. The two targets we are here to eliminate are sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington who run the organization. We will also have to extract the constant without killing him. He reminds me of a younger Woodhouse from Archer, so I'm cool with that. I make my way to the castle with some of the other guests who have just arrived and enter the grounds. There's a huge party going on, an open bar, some neon lights, classical music being belted out, and so I decide to make the most of this little shindig and head to the bathroom to try and score some E. I go the wrong way and run into this lady who proceeds to give me a tour of a replica bunker that these millionaires can buy in case a nuclear war happens. It has all the bells and whistles, such as this electronic window where you can pick what view you would like to see. The nice lady confirms that you can also stream HD videos on this window which will work perfectly for Agent 47's happy alone time. I can't afford the bunker anyway, but I decide to help myself to some free, juicy Granny Smith apples. One of the apples almost rolls off the table, but using my insanely fast assassin reflexes, I catch it just in time. Don't clap, it's just part of the job. Time Time to stop messing around though, let's find and eliminate these sisters. I head outside and find a large group of these Ark Society freaks gathered around a fire pit and it seems they are taking turns burning money. It reminds me of the Australian government. Haha, <laughs> get it? A political budget joke. I'm such a sophisticated guy. Just kidding, my favourite word is moist. I sneak around the back of the castle, past some guards and then eavesdrop on a conversation that some engineers are having. Apparently Zoe Washington is going to enter some cage and then the cage will be lit on fire as part of the event's opening ceremony. But of course she plans to sneak away at the last minute so she isn't burned alive. I jump through the window and grab the safety report for the cage's hydraulic systems which tells me the cage is very unstable and prone to being locked shut. I turn the lights in the room off and then choke out the first engineer while she is investigating. I toss her unconscious body out the window, into the sea, and onto the jagged rocks below. I was going to try and not kill innocent people this mission. Anyway, I'm sure she'll be fine. I take out the second mechanic, steal his clothes, and then hide the body in a more humane way this time. I grab a nearby wrench and sabotage the cage's locking system. This honestly seems like it's going really well. I mean, one dead engineer isn't great, but this sneaky plan to burn Zoe alive is coming along swimmingly. I use my lockpick to enter the next room. We now need to figure out how to start this ceremony. Two guards block my way, and so I use the good old wrench to the face trick to knock him out and then quickly choke out the second guy. I hide the bodies and take one of the guards' disguises, which should give me more freedom to explore. I walk back out to the crowd, holding the guards' machine gun. Remember, no Russian. <laughs> that is the worst. Russian accent. Anyway, I'm just kidding, I'll go back to a checkpoint. I scale the outside of the castle to try and gather some more intel on how I can start the ceremony. I enter a random room and eavesdrop on a conversation. By chance, that guy in red is the master of ceremonies and he is in charge of lighting the fire, but unfortunately he is a real nervous Nelly and is getting stage fright. I steal his schedule notes which confirm the ceremony will start when he rocks up. He panics when he can't find his 
notes and starts searching for them. I wait until he has moved away from the others and then proceed to throw the Granny Smith apples I stole earlier at his head. Unfortunately, even three apples don't knock him out and so I throw the wrench instead. The guard investigates the commotion and so I slip around and choke the blue boy out. I hide all of the bodies and dress up as the master of ceremonies. It's time for Zoe to become the shrimp at a good old Aussie Barbie. <laughs> Jesus, that's bad. I choke out the last guy in the room just to be safe, but then suddenly notice my medieval mace is just in the next room. I quickly grab it, can't wait to use this wildly impractical weapon. It will have to wait until after the ceremony though. I leave the mace in the room and make my way outside. Everyone claps for me, which makes me feel quite important and results in me getting a semi. I head downstairs and just look at Agent 47. What an absolute unit. Completely winging it, I grab the torch and light the money pile on fire. Zoe emerges and starts giving a speech and a short while later she enters the cage. I proceed to light the cage on fire and sure enough the cage remains locked and she can't escape. GG Zoe you noob, I just wrecked you scrub, get good you dinky virgin and don't you dare blame lag. Oh and Zoe, I f your mum. She can't even report me for being a toxic player because she has recently passed away and then everyone claps again and my semi is suddenly at full mast. I retrieve my mace and start searching for Sophia. I head out to the northwest side of the castle. My disguise is no good here so I'll need to upgrade. I turn off the floodlights and some joker investigates. I use my mace to swiftly knock him out. Unfortunately the mace isn't a great stealth weapon and two guards head over to inspect the commotion. I give them the old medieval reach around and easily knock out the first guard. The second one lines me up and I just manage to hit him with my mace before he shoots. If he had managed to get that shot off, that would have alerted the entire castle. It's too risky to leave these guys alive, as two of them saw my face, so it's off the cliff for all three of these chumps. I take one of the guards disguises first though, so I can properly explore this area. I head over and see some workers unpacking rare Egyptian looking artifacts. I like that none of them are questioning that I am holding a mace. I'm just like, hey fellas, instead of M4 assault rifles, us guards are now just using medieval maces. And they're just like, oh cool, no problem bro. I scale the outside of the castle, not really sure why I did this as it seems like an unnecessary risk given that I had clearance for this area, but you know, climbing is a great upper body workout I guess. I sneak past two more workers, through a courtyard and then into the most heavily guarded section of the castle. And then all of a sudden there she is, Sophia Washington. Her haircut tells me that she complains about her coffees regardless of how good they are, and the pink pantsuit tells me her boyfriend is the one who cleans the kitchen. I follow Sophia around for a while, but not only does she have an elite personal security guard, she also sticks to highly populated areas, which will make taking her down difficult. I also still find it amusing that I am just walking around this high class establishment with a mace. I also spot the constant, looking at some of the architect's designs for the Ark Society's new facility. I'll figure out how to extract him later. I follow Sophia into her office and overhear a conversation she is having with her guards. Apparently they are holding the constant guy hostage using some kind of device one of the architects designed. I need more intel before I can make a move on this though. My contact back at the agency finds the number for the architect responsible for designing the device and says that she will continually call their phone until I can figure out who it is. I walk around the lounge waiting for one of the architects text to answer their phone. Also, with all these cloaks, I feel like I am strolling around bloody Hogwarts. Better quickly finish this contract before Lord Voldemort and Hermione Granger start banging in the Gryffindor Tower. For those of you who didn't know, it was pretty obvious Voldemort and Hermione were screwing the entire time. Trust me, I'd know. I've read two of the books and seen most of the movies. Anyway, sure enough, some joker answers his phone and so I follow him around and wait for my moment. Eventually, he inspects one of the models and so I turn the display light off and he comes around to turn them back on. I relish the moment and throw my mace straight into his face. Cop that. I hide the body and grab the blueprints for the hostage device. I forgot to turn the lights back on though and another architect almost crashes the party. 
A really tense moment, but then I realise Agent 47 looks like one of the characters from the iconic Darude Sandstorm video clip. I read the blueprints and basically the device is a remotely controlled suicide pill and if it is triggered, the constant will die instantly. Interesting. This still doesn't really help me eliminate Sophia though and so I climb to the top of the castle. I wait for the perfect moment and then clear all of the guards on this top level. Basically, I am just doing some heavy recon as I have nothing in plan yet to take her down and she keeps hanging out in these busy rooms surrounded by armed guards. We are going to need to get creative and try to isolate her. I hide the bodies and guns, but also find a master key to the castle which may come in handy, and I also took one of the elite guards disguises which gives me access to basically the entire castle. I begin working my way back down to where Sophia is residing. I search long and hard for a way to get Sophia to break her routine, from the top of the castle right down to the kitchen in the cellar. It's sad to see how far Jamie Oliver has fallen, but I guess that's what happens when you advertise 30 minutes recipes that are impossible to cook in 30 minutes. Jamie, you lying mother Finally though, I find a display cabinet with a rare Aztec necklace in it and that guy over there who looks like an Indiana Jones villain has apparently stolen it from Sophia or something. I don't know what it will achieve, but I suppose I am going to steal it. I sneak in behind the security team who is monitoring the alarm system for the necklace. In a hugely risky play, I choke out the technician and hide the body. I then proceed to change the desktop background of the laptop to some male genitals as it is a timeless practical joke and then I disable the alarm system. Heading downstairs, I turn off all of the lights which causes a bit of confusion amongst the guards. Quite a daring play from Agent 47, but this guy is a ruthless son of a gun. He's the kind of guy to throw a Granny Smith apple at your head and then smack you with a mace. I get away with the necklace. The Indiana Jones guy gets really angry at the guards, but then gets over it. I give it like 10 minutes, but he doesn't confront Sophia Washington. Jeez, dude, do I have to do everything myself? Can't this guy just like get really angry and stab Sophia? Or can she just go and overdose on heroin or something? Thing, that would be so helpful. Anyway, Indiana Jones boy goes out for a smoke and so I choke him out and steal his disguise. I then approach Sophia pretending to be him and say that I want to discuss the necklace with her and promise to be reasonable and she's like, okie dokie. She leads me to her office so that we can have a chat. Her guards are still everywhere but I show her the Aztec necklace and tell her that she can have it which earns her trust. She proceeds to tell her guards to leave the room. Not exactly a 1000 IQ play from Sophia there. I then offer to put the necklace on her. Like seriously, has this girl ever watched a horror movie? I'm literally dressed like Mr. X from Resident Evil, but anyway, I pull out the necklace and use it to strangle her in her own office. She was holding the kill switch for the device planted in the Constance bloodstream. And so I find him and it's pretty easy to blackmail Slender Man into following me down to the docks. Now this was a long walk down to the docks and the entire time I had the option to use the kill switch which, but I managed to show restraint and not press it. Just kidding, you know I had to kill him and it was honestly one of the most anticlimactic things I've ever seen. He sort of just fell over. I then had to do like half the mission again, so it was 100% not worth it, but I couldn't live the rest of my life not knowing what would happen. Anyway, the Ark Society is nothing without the Washington sisters, so with them both eliminated, we can now call this mission complete. How did I only get one out of five stars for my mission rating? Actually, that's right. We rolled a bunch of people into the ocean. Guess they didn't make it. Anyway, thanks for watching, you absolute legends. And a huge thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.